we just uh, did a press release regarding our small business program. <coughs> to start with, we um, revamped basically our existing small business portal and um, put a lot more information out there so it, it, it's much more user friendly and you can navigate. You know, say you do IT work, you'll know who to contact, where to go. So I highly recommend that you um, look at that. And then we're also working with um, internally within our own <coughs> divisions and then with the Office of Minority Women's Business Enterprises <coughs> on developing a small business certification program for DOT projects. So it's, uh, it's in the works. It'd be a 10% voluntary goal on federal aid projects that don't have the DBE program goals. Now, the DBE program, does anybody know what that is? Yes, no? Please give us a better <laughs> for, for those folks okay. that are quiet here. All right, the DBE program is, um, the certification is also administered by the Office of Minority and Women's Business Enterprises. And what it is, is it's a um, program meant for socially and economically disadvantaged individuals. And they have to go through a certification process. It can be a little rigorous. Uh, they ask for a lot of uh, your business information. And then once you're certified, you're eligible to participate in the DBE program in, at WashDOT, at Sound Transit, and at the Port of Seattle. We each have our own DBE programs. And then we also pass it on to um, local subrecipients like City of Olympia or City of Tacoma. So there's that program in place, and that's meant for heavy highway construction, transit projects, and then aviation, so the airport concessionaires within the airports as well. So that's the basic of the DBE program. I could probably be up here for three or four hours talking about it, but don't want to bore you to death. Um, within the DBE program, we set condition of award goals on heavy highway construction projects that have relevant um, opportunities available and the prime contractor can either meet the, meet the goal or demonstrate good faith effort in meeting the goal. Now the small business enterprise program will come into play on the projects without the DBE goals. So we set DBE goals on about half of the federal aid projects, the other half would be small business. The DBE program considers race, ethnicity, and gender, and the small business enterprise program won't, but the certification criteria will remain the same. Any questions so far? Okay. Will the uh, certification process be as rigorous for the small business certification program as it is for the DBE program? Yes. I know um, uh, Federal Transit Administration allows Sound Transit and the Port of Seattle to use their self-identification program, but um, we answered at FHWA, the Federal Highway Administration, so they said we had to have the exact same criteria as the DBE program without consideration to race or ethnicity or gender. So it's basically the same, pro the same process where you have to be a small business, you have to you know, own and control everything, and then um, you have to not be a millionaire, basically. I don't think right. any of those have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> if I already have yeah. the uh, DBE certification, do I need to reapply with what that? As far as I am aware, and we're still working out the details, it, it would be with OMWBE, and then if you're automatic, if you're already a DBE, you would just automatically roll over to be a SBE. But if you didn't want to, you don't have to. So, if that makes any sense, because the criteria are the same: it's just small business, not rich, independent. <coughs> so, okay, so that's the DBE program in a very small nutshell. Okay. Please ask questions. <coughs> the DBE program, that's, is that a requirement? Um, is that a federal requirement that you have to have DBEs on these projects? Oh, okay. Um, we have to have a DBE program to receive federal aid. It's a requirement of the federal regulations that if we receive money from Federal Highway, Federal Transit, or Federal Aviation Administration, that we have a DBE program. So we set an overall DBE goal every year. Well, now it's every three years. Excuse me, they change the regulations. And the um, overall goal is based upon presently the availability study that we recently conducted, which is why Dan had asked that I give you an update on the disparity study, because that's what sets the overall DBE goal. It's the basis for the DBE program. It considers 
the availability versus the utilization of minority and women owned companies on heavy highway construction contracts. Still with me? No, my question isn't really a requirement. <laughs> okay, is it a requirement? <laughs> yes. It's a requirement that we have a DBE program, and so we set the overall DBE goal, and then we try to meet that goal through the use of individual contract goals. So on the projects, there'd be a 6%, 10%, 14%, based upon what's in that project. So whatever that goal is that's on that project, the prime contractor, that's bidding on that either has to meet that percentage or demonstrate good faith efforts in doing so. We've had limited good faith efforts submittals within the last three or four years, so. Would that criteria also apply to the small business program? Would it be a requirement for the small business as well? Um, we're starting out voluntary, so, because too much at once, you know, so. James? It's janky. Uh Thank you for coming here. You are tough as the examiner for my DBE <laughs> program. Oh, no. And uh, you are good. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm saying you are very good. So I really appreciate it. And I'm not criticizing. You are oh, doing, okay. doing good job. I'm oh, thank you. And I'm the uh, member of the, what do you call, the uh, National yeah, Association of Minority. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I'm very actively involved in that. And uh, we have a lot of the uh, general contractors come to our the uh, meetings. Good. As a matter of fact, tomorrow night we have general meetings. And they come to us. Okay. Talks about their goals. Okay. Yeah. Four percent, six percent. They talk about. They try to reach out to us mm -hmm. and to recruit. However, that's a lip service. And when they go uh, back, uh, next couple of days later, our members call them up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't respond at all. So, okay, that's a part of a reality we live in, right? So yes. we understand that. However, those are general contractors, mm -hmm. prime contractors, yeah. they set the uh, four, five, six, what, 10%, uh, what do you call the uh, goals they set, right? We set them. Uh, you set them, yeah. okay. Then if they don't meet, you know, that goal, yeah. if they don't try the good faith, what do you call effort, right? Yeah. The good faith effort is the way I look at it, it's very elusive uh, terminology, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, consistently, right, the prime contractor doesn't uh, meet their goal, what kind of the uh, penalty you can impose on by the uh, state agency? So that's my question. If they don't meet the condition of award mm -hmm. goals? Um, you know, some people, contractor cannot meet, you know, right, under certain circumstances, right? But well, those are repeated offenders, right? And uh, what kind of the penalty you can impose on in the future? Well, we need to be, be informed of the situation or, or know that it's occurring because what we receive is the quarterly affidavits of payments and that's tracked against the actual um, participation. So from our perspective, most of the goals are being met because we're actually meeting our overall DBE goal for the first time in quite a few years. So the good faith efforts is something the prime contractors do. Now, if they're not... if the if you're calling them and you're not having any luck, then that's maybe something where our DBE support services program can get involved in. That's where we were yesterday. So. Any other questions? Okay. Yeah. Was the uh, SBE uh, certification coming mm -hmm. down? Do you see in the future it, will the SBE goal will eventually replace the DBE goal, or or the two? What do you say? Two goals will be. Existing at the same time and well, what, <laughs> I know. <differently> work. <laughs> How complicated can we make things? Yeah, um, yeah. No, there'll be the um, DBE goal, and as far as I'm aware, the feds haven't said we're doing anything with the DBE program. However, <laughs> they are. As there was the last page, there's a 75 or 77 page notice of proposed rulemaking. So significant changes the feds are proposing to the DBE program. I haven't honestly gotten all the way through that. Shouldn't admit that. But um, major changes in that program in regards to counting, the application process, the certification, issues like that. Now, so we'll have the DBE. I'm just going to. Go ahead, I'm just please. Gonna, yeah, okay. So we've got and Chris, if you have anything that you'd like to. Jackie's doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got our federal funds. And these can be matched with state funds. So. I'm going to go acronym city here. Um, we have our DBE program or the SBE program. Now, if it's strictly state, 
And please disregard my handwriting. It's a little horrific. You have the Minority Women's Business Enterprise Programs. So OMWBE administers the Disadvantaged Business Enterprise Program, the Small Business Enterprise Program, and the Minority and Women's Business Enterprise Program. But they won't ever, as far as I can foresee, that would be a paperwork nightmare overlap. So you'll have a DBE goal, an SBE goal, or an MWBE goal, but never more than one because I don't know how that would work. Okay. So it, if there's no DBE goal, then there's an SBE goal. There's DBE goals on about half our project, so there'd be, I'm assuming, SBE goals on the remaining half. And then our state-funded projects are analyzed in the same fashion. 